Dropshipping has made me well over 10k last month and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can do exactly the same. This video covers everything you need to know so make sure you watch till the very end. Now dropshipping is an extremely profitable business. I myself have been dropshipping for the past year and I've made some really good money doing so. Dropshipping is extremely easy once you know what you're doing. A lot of people start dropshipping for the first time and they just end up freestyling. This just ends up with them losing a lot of money. So in today's video I'm going to go over three main things that you need to do to create a successful dropshipping store which can end up making you 10k per month so let's start off with the first point which is finding your winning product now finding your winning product is one of the most important aspects of drop shipping now you can find your winning product in multiple ways you can use TikTok, which is a very good way to find your winning product the way to do it is to create a separate TikTok account you then skip all videos apart from the drop shipping products what this basically does is train the algorithm to show you more drop shipping products and then this way you can find viral products that are extremely popular you can also use shop hunter which is a sales tracking tool this will basically just show you stores that are doing well. I have put the link in the description for that. As an example, I have found this winning product. Right, so now that you've got your winning product, what do you do next? Well, you need to come up with a name for your product and store. Now, you can easily use tools like ChatGPT to help come up with a brand name for your store. So after using ChatGPT, it came up with this name and I'm gonna go with that. Now in regards to the logo, you can use AI or you can use tools like Canva. So in the end, I created this logo. Now, once you've got all that, you need to design your store. Now, this is extremely important because this essentially is the last hurdle before your customers convert so this needs to be done correctly if this is done incorrectly customers will just end up leaving your store which means in the end you'll just pump so much money into ads and you'll lose all that money now when creating the website try not to overcomplicate it trust me if you make the design simple and modern you're more likely to convert now when i create my store i always use a specific theme and this has allowed me to convert on my winning products and i'm going to share this theme with you today now the theme that i've been using is debutify so let me show you guys how you can get this theme make sure you click my link in the description or the pinned comment once you click that link this is the screen you'll see you then need to click right over here where it says free trial then sign up using your email address once you've signed up and created an account you then need to sign up to Shopify once you've signed up you just copy the URL of your Shopify website ideally you'll have your own domain based around your brand but for this example I'm just going to use a generic domain and then you paste it into this box over here and click verify URL after that you just click on connect and get the then just click download over here and select this option on the right you'll then see these options and you can even select from pre-made templates but we're just going to go for the default one for this video and we just click on continue it will then download a zip folder now you go back onto shopify click over here where it says add theme then just drag in the zip folder you downloaded it will then install this theme and once installed you hit publish now what we're going to do is we're going to click on customize and now let me show you how good this theme is so once you've installed the debutify theme this is what you'll see so as you can see you've got a lot of different options on the left you've got this debutify theme which you can edit and change things around so i'm going to show you a few things you can do with this theme now let's start off with the announcement bar so to enable the announcement bar you just click right over here where it says login so once you go on there you can see these are all the add-ons i'm going to go through some of the main ones with you but let's start off with the announcement bar first so you just scroll down you go on where it says announcement bar and you just click on enable it'll say do you want to enable the add-on you just click on enable and then once you've done that you just go back onto your store once you go onto your store you'll see the announcement bar over here and what's amazing is you can put a message on the left and a message on the right so for example let's say free delivery and then you can put something like follow us and you can see now it shows up on the screen but we're not going to do that for the sake of the video. We're just going to take this out. And what we're going to do instead is click where it says add message over here. And we're going to add our own custom message. So we're going to put free shipping worldwide. And instead of 30 day free returns, I'm going to put on orders over $100. So as you can see, it looks much more cleaner. It looks much better. And with the announcement bar, you can play around with it. You know, with the left message and right message, you can put something like, you know, call us on this number or follow us on Instagram. I like to keep it plain. I like to just add a message in the middle. So I'm going to go with something like this. And what I recommend doing is always capitalizing each word so i'm just going to change a few things over here this way it just looks a lot more cleaner now we need to add the product now you can add it through multiple apps and there are a bunch of other apps that you can use to import aliexpress products into your store but for the sake of this video i'm just going to create a generic product so you can see how it looks on the store so i've added a generic product but what i'm going to first do is i'm going to activate a few more options so let's have a look over here so i'm going to enable this which is called sticky add to cart and I'm just going to click on enable. What this basically does is adds a sticky add to cart button. So when you're scrolling past that, it will still show you on the top. This helps with conversion quite a lot. The other thing that I'm going to enable is quantity breaks. Now what quantity breaks does 
is it rewards customers with discount codes when they purchase multiple items from your store. So I'm also going to enable that. Now, the other thing that you need to do is obviously change your logo. So the way to do that is by clicking over here. And once you do that, you can select your default logo and you can select your inverted logo. So I'm just gonna quickly update that over here. And you can change your width over here so you can adjust the logo size. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do maybe something along the lines of this. And then you just click hit save over here. Now what I'm gonna do is just show you how you can add a product. So for example, you've got this feature collection over here. Now I'm just gonna add one product just to show you how it looks and how it works. So I'm just gonna change this to Dream Cloud Pillow. Again, I'm not focusing too much on design because I want to show you guys how this theme works. Now you can add things to your collection on Shopify. To add things to your collection, just go over here where it says collections. Okay, so if I want to add a collection, I just click over here, create collection. You can again add anything on this collection. Again, for me, I'm just going to add this one product. But what's good about this is that let's say you have, you know, a special collection of uh, items. If you're using a multiple product store, this is extremely good to use. So I'm just going to hit save. Once you do that, you can then browse your product as in this case, it's the Dream Cloud Pillow. You just add it onto your collection and then it will just update automatically. Now, if we go on to the theme itself and where it says over here, select collection, we're just gonna click on Dream Cloud Pillow. Again, click select and you'll see that your product will show up over here. Right, so we've got the product over here. Now, if we just click on it so we can see the product page. So this is what the product page looks like. Again, I haven't done any design elements to it. I'm just showing you how this theme is used. You can make this really good. You can add reviews, you can add a bunch of things. And again, it's extremely easy. And this was the description that was copied from AliExpress. If you import a product from AliExpress, you need to clean it up again this is too much information so you just need to change all of this add these bullet points over here and just make it very simple again you've got all these images over here some of it is a bit too much it's best to add gifts gifts are extremely good and this is what i was talking about the sticky add to cart as you can see if i'm scrolling down the add to cart button is still here now this does help with conversion and it's extremely good to have in the stores that i did use it there was a slightly higher conversion rate another good one is this add to cart animation it just basically adds an animation to the add to cart so I'm gonna also enable that as well. And then finally, if we go onto the add to cart page, so I can show you exactly what it looks like if someone was to add to the cart. As you can see, there was a little animation there as well. Now, also what's good about this is that you can also add special instructions for seller. So for example, what's good about this is let's say you have something personalized or you're selling something personalized, they can use this text box to add the correct information. And as you can see, even the add to cart page, really nice, really well made. You just click on checkout and this is your checkout page where you know fill in the information and then you can pay for the product. So as you can see, it's extremely easy. This theme allows you to make a simple but an effective website which will convert. I have a link to Debutify down below for you to get it pre-built for you with AI to help you get started. And they have great 24 seven support. The theme is super quick and it is mobile friendly. It's so easy to use and highly customizable. Build a one product store, a general store, a print on demand store, or a specific niche brand store that you are aiming at. The link in my description will provide you 20% off for three months to get started. What's also cool about Debutify is that they have courses on TikTok ads and Facebook ads, as well as dedicated account managers to help you with any issues that you have. And it has a 14 day free trial with no upfront costs. So again, make sure you click my link below and sign up with Debutify. Also guys, if you're enjoying the video so far and you are finding it helpful, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Okay, now that you've got your winning product and you made your website using Debutify, the next thing you need to focus on is ads. Now, ads are extremely important if you want to make money on your dropshipping store because you can have the best store in the world and the best product in the world, but if people don't know they exist, you won't generate sales. Now, I know there are a lot of organic ways to get people onto your store. You can use TikTok mainly to get some good organic traffic. I have done a lot of stores where I've used just organic methods to get sales. And although it does work and you can generate some good money, I would always suggest to invest some money money on paid ads. Paid ads are where you can see a massive growth on your store sales. It's how I've been able to make well over $10,000 in a single month. So where do you advertise your product? You can use Facebook or you can use TikTok. I personally prefer TikTok, but Facebook ads are very good as well. Most times it also depends on your product as some will do better on TikTok and some will do better on Facebook. Sometimes I advertise on both platforms. It honestly depends on your product and target audience. Now you need to create ad videos around your product before you can advertise. Now there are two ways that you could do this. You can either order the product yourself and make videos around it or you can use a company like viral ecom ads to create the videos for you i've included a link in the description for them too you should aim to have at least three videos around your product this way when you have video ad sets created you can see which one of the videos are performing the best in terms of conversion this way you can target a specific ad set and make a ton of money now i have a video on a low budget tiktok ad strategy which i will put at the end of this video now the final thing that you need to do with drop shipping is practice look it's not going to be easy and you are going to fail i failed so many times when i was new to drop 
dropshipping. But dropshipping is about learning from all the failures and learning the lessons. Only then can you succeed. It's easy to give up when your first store doesn't get any sales or it might generate sales, but it might not be a lot. Remember, you need to keep practicing and keep improving. Only then can you be successful. Now I'm also teaching people on how to start dropshipping on my Discord group called the Ultimate Wealth Circle. And the Ultimate Wealth Circle is a group of like-minded individuals who all have the same mission, which is to be rich, successful, and make money online. Now I've made some very good money on dropshipping and I've documented a lot of those videos on my YouTube channel. Joining the Ultimate Wealth Circle doesn't just give you access to me for dropshipping help, but it gives you access to a network of individuals who are looking to grow. So if you do want to join, make sure you click my link in the description and join now. And if you're looking for my low budget TikTok ad strategy, well make sure you click this video just over here and I'll see you guys there.